a scatter plot, a line of best fit, and an equation all connected. In this lesson, you'll learn how to write an equation for a line of best fit or a trend line by first identifying the y-intercept and the slope. First, let's do a quick review. Any linear equation can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, where m represents our slope or our rate of change or our growth, and b is our y-intercept. Let's apply what we know about linear equations to make a line of best fit for a scatter plot. This is a scatter plot that shows student scores and it shows um, the relationship between the minutes they studied and the number of points they got on whatever this might be, a test or a quiz. Okay, our first step is we want to draw our trend line. So you need to find a spot where you're um, going to approximate the center of the data as best you can. Now that my trend line is drawn, I'm going to write an equation for it. So uh, we're going to write it in the form y equals mx plus b. And um, it doesn't matter if you start with the slope or the y-intercept. I can see by looking over here, my y-intercept is about 49. Okay, so I'm going to put plus 49. And we need to now figure out our slope. Um, you learned in the self-paced unit how to find slope from two points or from a graph. Um, first, you want to identify two points on your graph that you can spot pretty easily. And I'm going to look, um, let's see, sorry, I'm going to make this a little smaller. I'm going to use this point because it looks like it goes right through a lattice point. And I'm going to also stick with 49 because I use that as my y-intercept. Okay, so then we're going to do, just like you did before, kind of a growth triangle. Or you can write it out algebraically. Um, we're going, we're using these two points. 25, 80. And 0, 49. So either from the graph or algebraically, let's find the slope of these two points. I like to do it algebraically. So we'll go 80 minus 49, change in our y, over the change in our x, or our rise over our run, if you prefer that. And 80 minus 49 is 31. 25 minus 0 is 25. Um, so the slope of this line is 31 25ths. So we just wrote an equation for our trend line. Our next example is showing us how temperature um, is related to dollars spent on a gas bill. Now on this scatter plot we've already drawn in the line of best fit. Let's write an equation that would go with it. So again, we're always starting with our general y equals mx plus b. So y equals our slope times x plus whatever our y-intercept is. Okay, um, by looking at this graph, it appears that our y-intercept right up here is a little bit more than 120. So maybe we can put like 121 on here. And for our slope, now this is where everyone's might be slightly different from each other, and that's okay. Because um, you can see there's a lot of places we can pick from to use for our um, two points where we try to find the slope. So I'm just kind of looking here to see which ones um, look maybe the nicest to work with. And I see I'm going to use that point right there. And I'm also going to go through, um, maybe I'll just use our y-intercept again because that seems, again, like a nice point we can use. Um, so my points are, 0, 121, and 60, and I'd say that looks like about maybe, it's less than 70, maybe like 68, uh, 69, you decide. All right, so those are the two points we'll use to calculate our slope. Um, so let's do, the, again, our change in y over the change in x, or our rise over our run. So we're going to write out our, our first y-coordinate minus our second one and put that over our first x-coordinate minus our second one and see what we get. So 121 minus 68 is 53. 
and then 0 minus 60 is negative 60. So our slope is roughly negative 53rd, ne negative 53 sixtieths. So I'm going to go back over here and write that in, negative 53 sixtieths. So we just wrote our equation for that line of best fit. Now one thing you can do to check how accurate your equation is, is you can pick another point and see um, if it fits that equation. I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm going to pick this point right here because it's a nice one. I can see it falls right on 40. So I'm going to just kind of check and see. Okay, if I put 40 in for x into this equation, will my y match up with what it should be roughly um, on my graph? So I'm going to use that point. Uh, we're going to figure out at, uh, for a temperature of 40 degrees. So y equals negative 53rd, 53 sixtieths times 40 plus, oops, plus 121. And I'll find out that if I do negative 53 sixtieths um, times 40, I get negative 35 and one third. And then if I add 121 to that, I get y equals 85 and two-thirds. Now let's go back up here to our graph and see if that fits. If I follow that across for x of 40, and we in our equation we got 85 and two-thirds, that's pretty close to where it looks like on our original graph. So we know that our um, trend line equation is pretty much spot on. All right, so in summary, um, when you have a scatter plot, you need to draw a line of best fit, trying to make it go through the center of the data as much as you possibly can, and then you just simply need to identify your slope and your y-intercept so that you can write an equation from it.